feel like you should not never be allowed to way. lock the bathroom door on your spouse. I think you should be allowed no. to. What's up, hubby bays, and welcome to another episode. Where no topic is off the table. If you can see, our kitchen island is very crowded because... We're going to Lebanon tomorrow. We're actually going to Dubai first. Stay there for three days. I'm going to Lebanon. Stay there for 10 days, and then back to Dubai. Stay there for... We're taking a bunch of stuff for family, and we don't want to forget a lot of the things that we've been tasked with. So, so you put them all out on the table. Yeah. Actually, the topics, because no topics off the table. This stuff is on the video. Table. This is before the New Year's, because I know a lot of us are thinking about our resolutions and our goals, and it's just a great time to reflect. Why don't you start? So I'll start. I'll start with questions for you. Okay. Okay. What has been the biggest achievement, your biggest achievement this year? My biggest achievement this year is getting out of my head and creating content more consistently. And that only happened over the past couple of months. I feel like I've just like pushed past a lot of me caring so much what everyone and their mother thinks about me. And I'm always like second guessing what I say. But over the past couple of months, I've just kind of like gotten out of that and I've been in a place where I feel so much better and so much more consistent about doing what I love which is creating so it's a mental thing for yeah you. it was definitely a mental thing what has been your biggest achievement the first thing which is most recent the my uh, appearance on the show the recruit on Netflix which is number one in the US Saudi in the Emirates in South Africa it's number one all over the place so just being part of that project Big blessing, big achievement. That's number one. Number two, I was able to purchase another rental property this year. Oh, yeah. Which is being rented out. Uh, that's a big achievement. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then number three, um, I bought a Porsche, which uh, it's, it's, it's been my dream car it's ever since I was a kid playing Need for Speed on PlayStation. If any car fanatics out there remember PlayStation Need for Speed, I was obsessed. Um, but I was able to buy that car, black on black, and I'm in love with it. But, uh, I love you more, but I'm also He really, I feel like my biggest competition is his Porsche because he's like obsessed with it. What has disappointed you the most this year? Uh, let me preface by saying with every setback, there's an opportunity. One of my biggest disappointment is I did a movie two years ago in New York and the movie came out and we went to this big premiere for it. And then a lot of my scenes got cut from the film. Mm. A lot of my scenes got cut from the film and I just, it just, I felt hurt from that, right? But then I thought about it. I was like, wait, the same producers reached out to me, had me audition for a role in another movie in a stronger role. Yeah. So that little position led to a very big opportunity. Yeah. So it's such a good way of looking it's, at it's it. It's a win-win, you yeah. know? Yeah, my scenes got cut, but hey, I've got a bigger opportunity that came out of that one. What about you? What's your biggest disappointment? I think, you list a couple today. I mean, I want to list more disappointments than know, successes. Saying. So I would say I look at disappointments the same as how you do, where I never, like the story never ends with the disappointment. There's always a learning opportunity. I feel like I've been dependent on you to do certain things. And I don't, we've never, we haven't talked about this, if you guys can tell from his face. But like, when I think about like, even three months ago, we'd be ordering food and I would just order the same thing as you instead of choosing something maybe healthier if you were wanting to eat pizza or just focusing on my journey, understanding that we're both in this together and we're definitely support system for each other and accountability buddies and all that good stuff. But in a relationship, especially when you're living with someone, it can be hard to just kind of like do your own thing in the cases where your journeys don't really align. And I feel like sometimes I was dependent on you to go to the gym or to eat. And I was disappointed because that's like not me. I'm very independent. I've always been just kind of like someone who's very goal oriented and motivated. So towards the end of this year, it's kind of both snapped and we were like, we need to step into our best selves. I feel like I've been like, less dependent on you to get up and just do the thing that's healthier for me or better for she me. She gets up first though. I do. I kind of race him in the morning. I have never admitted this to him out loud and I know you know. Oh, okay. In the morning, I look at my, like my alarm will go off. Usually I snooze like 10 times. I snooze like once or twice now 
and I always try to get up at 5.30 latest, basically like sprint to the gym so I could leave the apartment before he does. In my defense, I just want to say I let you get up before Shut me up. so you can use the bathroom. He always do your does thing. this because he wants to snooze a little more. So he's like, boo, just it's okay. So you do your he tries thing. to act like Should he's letting me go to the bathroom you first. You have your space. And then when you leave, I'm up. Also, he locks the door on me when he goes and showers and uses the bathroom. And I just want to announce that in front of everyone. That I like my space. Just comment below, if, especially if you're in a relationship, if you're living with somebody like... If you're taking a shit, do you want your privacy? <laughs> yes or no? Let's just say it as is. I just feel like once you get married, you release all rights to all of that. And I just feel like you should never right. be allowed to right. lock the bathroom door on your spouse. I think you should be allowed no. to do whatever you like want. Like yesterday, I really needed to get into the bathroom and fix my hair and do my makeup before one of my calls. And he literally locked the door. He ended up unlocking it, but yeah. When I got done. Okay, let's get back to the conversation. So let's see what I can ask. I like this shit in peace. Let me see what it's I can ask. It's an escape. I can't believe we just talked about this. No one told shits. you to talk about taking you shits. You clearly, I mean, you went you, there. You said no topic is off the table or the toilet, clearly. Okay, so. That was funny. You know, I, I gotta get my own words. Yeah, I guess, yeah. What has made you most proud of me in 2022? Of you? Execution. Doing it. Just not talking, but doing. Whether it is with work, whether it is with stuff around the house, whether it is with your personal growth, you say you want to do something and you end up following through. That is sexy. Aw, I love that. Yeah. That's. I think that's what I'm most proud of about myself too, actually. You should be. Okay, what I'm most proud of with you, I think there's like a million, seriously, like a million things that I'm so proud of you about this year. Wow. But I think what I'm most, most, most proud of is that you just like never complain. He has a lot of things to complain about, including me. Like I can be really annoying sometimes, but... Everyone has a lot of things to complain about. Let's just be real. If we want to look at the world like that, we can. And to be honest, I'm more of a complainer than I thought. Like, I have been working on it a lot. But I will be the person that would wake up and be like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, it's like there's always, like, something that I'm... Com and I, I don't perceive myself as a negative person. But being with Ahmed has made me realize, like, how positive it could get. And when I was first getting to know him, I felt like... He's so positive, but I wonder how it'll be in a relationship because you never know how Can we pause are. for a quick second about yeah. positivity? Read this. He has affirmations on his watch. I am meant to live a happy life. You are meant to live a happy life. See? Okay. So yeah, what makes me most proud of him is he's just so positive, even when he's negative. Like even in the moments where he's having the worst day ever, I'm allowed to kind of gaslight him. I've, he gives me full permission to be like, boo, say alhamdulillah, boo. Some things that like, and I wouldn't be that toxic positivity person if he didn't ask me to be that person because you're allowed to have horrible days. But when I try to talk that positivity into him on days where he's really feeling down, he's so welcoming of it. I need a reminder. Whereas a lot of people, like they just want to be in that negative space. Me included sometimes when I'm having a shitty ass day, sometimes if you want to tell me like, it's okay, it's okay. No, like I want to be mad right now. I want to be annoyed right now. And from him, I'm learning to just constantly look for the positive in every situation. I'm just so proud of you for that. Thanks, Fula. I love that about what you. I, what I try to do if something is negative and I want to complain, I feel like complaining, instead of complaining, I will use that amp me up yeah, and charge me. That's true. To take action even your and negative, fix it. Even your negativity is more like it lights a fire under your ass. It's yeah. always like forward moving. It's never like yeah. sulking, which is, to be honest, something you did a lot in 2021. Not a lot, a lot more than you do now. You didn't do it a lot relative to other people, but you sulked, not sulked, what's the word? You get you into dwell, a spiral, you, you dwell, dwell and you get into a spiral and you get stuck And you don't dwell anymore. If you had to describe this past year in like a word, what would it be? Lock and load. I love that. Because 2023 about the fire. I love that, that's good. I resonate with that. I resonate with that. I think for me, 2022, was a foundational year. It doesn't feel so exciting when I look back on it. There weren't so many things that were like huge. And I've, I've had years where things were huge for me. This year felt very like sowing the seeds. And I'm very excited about what's gonna happen. So I feel like it's another way of saying lock and load. What do you think is gonna change? Well, you have to ask a question though. What are you going to change? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna change? 
2023? I think what I've already been working on changing and what I hope 2023 brings more of is feeling like I'm in a flow state feeling like things are less complicated than much work and thought and effort and for things to feel like I'm in quote unquote cruise control. I don't want to feel like I'm constantly driving my success 24 seven, whether it's, you know, physically or professionally. I want to feel like I've created enough of a foundation and enough systems around me. Like my success is destined. I just need to keep doing what I'm doing. That's how I want to feel in 2023. What about you? What's changing for you? You know how when we set goals and we achieve them? Yeah. But then when I set those goals, I can kick back, relax. Yeah. I want to minimize that relaxing time and increase that execution time. Work yeah. on that stamina. I love that. Work on that stamina to, to knock out one thing after the other yeah. without needing those breaks. For someone listening who thinks you're being extra, or for someone listening who thinks, or watching, who thinks that, like, chill the hell out, like, why do you need to do that? You're allowed to rest. You deserve to rest. What would you say to that? Because when I'm resting, somebody else is working. <laughs> as toxic as it sounds. I mean, if it's not toxic. As toxic as it sounds. If it's not toxic for you, then it's not toxic. It's about how bad you want it. Nobody's going to give me anything. Everyone has their own style of working. But one thing I had to recognize is that I was being soft in 2022. So I think that that's part of my disappointment a little, that I was just being a little soft. Not soft because rest is soft. I don't think rest is soft. Rest is not soft. I don't rest think is rest beautiful. is soft at all. But you gotta earn it. I think some people feel like they need to earn it. I f I'm personally someone who feels that way and I just feel like the mainstream conversation around like self-love, self-care kind of brainwashed me into being soft and forgetting that I am somebody and you are somebody who is highly motivated and highly like, I just want to achieve so many things in my life and I don't want to take my time with it. Like I do want to, it makes me happy. Like it makes me happy to achieve. What are some of the things people can look forward to? In 2023? Mm -hmm. uh, couple, two movies coming out. We wrote a script. Amanda and I were about to produce a movie next year, a rom-com. I just want to say that he put his head down, like speaking to focus. He sacrificed a lot of fun nights of us usually binge watching Netflix to just put his head down and like crank out a lot of the script. Producing and acting in it. Mm -hmm. And then Dope Queens is a movie that's coming out. Mm -hmm. And then Pipes is a movie that's coming out. And have a small role in a movie called Resurrected that's also coming out. Nice. Exciting. Love it. And our channel. Our channel. So that's going to be... Gotta log, I'm kind of taking the in. lead on all of our content. And that's something you guys can all definitely look forward to. We're not stopping anytime soon. We're going to try to produce so... So much content. You gotta tell us what you wanna see in the comments. Tell us what you wanna see. We started toying with the idea of doing some sort of anonymous submissions box where you tell us, you ask us questions, whether it's about your personal life, whether you're in a relationship and you need that type of advice. And Ahmed and I just get on maybe live and answer people's questions. Yeah. We just wanna have it be more interactive and have us have these two way conversations. But we would love to hear from you all before we wrap and we gotta clean up all of this and start packing for our trip tomorrow. We'd love to hear from you. What are you focusing on in the new year? What are you focusing on if you're watching this later on? Like what is the thing that you're doubling down on? All right, happy bays. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again very, very shortly on another episode of the happy bays. Where no topic is off, off the, the table. table. <laughs> Bye guys.